Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about the different types of irrigation schemes. That is the major one, medium one, and the minor ones. So let's start. Before studying about the irrigation schemes, we need to understand a few terms that is associated with it. That is the command area. What is a command area? So the area that can be irrigated by a canal system. Canal system here we are referring to the irrigation system. So the irrigation system that we have provided, how much area can be irrigated by that one that is known as the command area. Now if we include the total area that can be irrigated by a canal system, if we take the total area that can be irrigated by a canal system, on the perception that is assuming that the unlimited quantity of water is available with us that means if you are having 1000 hectares of the area and if you are having the sufficient amount of water available that means you can irrigate the entire area however this area may also consist of the different water bodies houses or the roads so that is not possible to irrigate upon them so that's why that area has to be subtracted so that means this is the total area so it is not possible to irrigate on the entire area that's why there is certain portion available within the total area which is cultivable that means there is the some farmland that is available onto the total area that farmland that can be cultivated if suitable arrangements are made that is known as the culturable command area that means the area that can be cultivated that is known as the culturable command area now let's say this was the total portion of the area under consideration this is known as the gross command area out of this only this portion can be irrigated out of this area only this portion of the land is available where the cultivation can be carried out this is the only area where the cultivation can be carried out so that means this is known as the culturable command area that is in short known as the CCA now out of this culturable command area may cultivate upon the entire area or we may exclude some of the area so if we are excluding some of the area let's say we have cultivated on this land only so this is known as the cultivated culturable command area that is cultivated CCA However, this remaining portion that is known as the cultivable, that means we can cultivate upon this land, but however, it is not cultivated at the moment. So, this is known as the cultivable but not cultivated culturable command area. If we take a look at this landscape, then you can observe that these are the fields which are provided here at one portion. This is the barren land, that means this is the land which is under the consideration where the this farming can be carried out however at the moment this is not cultivated this is also the cultivated area so if we name them there let's say this is the first one this is the second and this is the third area so this first plus second plus third this is known as the culturable command area which is cultivated at the moment while if we take a look at this number, this is the fourth one. So this fourth one is known as the cultivable. That means we can cultivate upon this land, but but not cultivated culturable command area that is CCA. While the total area that is known as the while the total area of this oval shape that is known as the cross command area that is in short written as GCA. Now based upon this we are classifying the irrigation schemes so so these irrigation projects are classified in different ways in Indian context they are classified based upon the area which is irrigated so the major project first of the category this is consisting of the huge surface water now this area which is under consideration which is the under irrigation that is the culturable command area if that is over the 10,000 hectares if the area that is under irrigation that is over the 10,000 hectares that comes under the category of the major project 
However, if the area envisaged, if that is between the 2000 to 10,000 hectares, that is known as the medium type of irrigation project. While the minor irrigation projects, that is a separate wing in the state government bodies. So if the irrigation scheme is having the area that is below 2000 hectare, that is known as the minor irrigation project. Now for such type of minor irrigation project, the source of the water that may be either the groundwater or from the wells or the tube wells or the surface water that means the river bodies or the different water bodies which can be lifted by the pumps or by the gravity that means due to the difference in the elevation of the two locations there may be a gravity flow and these minor irrigation projects they can be irrigated also from the water tanks so that's how we classify the different irrigation schemes in Indian context, there are different classification which are carried out. Now, the states are having different potential. Whenever you come across the divisions at the state level, usually the major and medium categories, they are clubbed simultaneously while the minor irrigation is classified separately. And in the minor irrigation, we classify them further as the surface water treatment that means the bodies which are irrigated with the help of the surface water and the bodies which are irrigated with the help of the groundwater. So that's how the classification has been carried out. Now in the next video, we will take a look at the national water policies that at what times the national water policies has come out and what are the salient features of it. Thank you.